Do you want to start investing in ETFs but you don't know where to start? Then watch this video till the end and I promise you that you, when you finish you will be able to build some interesting ETF portfolios. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Just a quick disclaimer, this is not a financial advice. Please do your own research or seek an independent financial advisor. In the coming slides, I will show you examples of 5 different ETF themes and portfolios that you can start investing right now. First portfolio we will build is technology and blockchain. Second one, healthcare portfolio. Third one, US stocks and bonds portfolio. First one is high dividend and income portfolio. And the last one is electric and self-driving cars. Alright, so the first portfolio we will build today is technology and blockchain ETF portfolio. If you are interested in investing in technology and the blockchain, then this portfolio would be the best for you. We will replicate this portfolio by three ETFs. The risk profile of this one is high because it promises high returns. So we will use three ETFs, 50% for the first one, 25 each. First ETF we will use is ARK Next Generation Internet ETF. This ETF is part of the famous ARK Investment ETFs. It invests in the next generation internet technology and the companies that ARK believes that they will take the internet to the next level. The past 5 years performance of this ETF was 600%. The famous holding are Tesla, Twitter, Zoom, Shopify and many others. The second portfolio is Amplified Transformational Data Sharing. This ETF invests in businesses involved in blockchain and the technology behind the cryptocurrencies. The past 3 years performance for this ETF is 162%. I didn't show the 5 years because there is no 5 years historical data for this ETF, it's relatively new. The famous holdings of this ETF is Coinbase, PayPal, MicroStrategy. The third ETF we will use for this portfolio is Vanguard Informational Technology. It, this ETF tracks the best and the largest US companies in the technology sector. The past year performance, 5 year performance of this ETF was 277%. The famous holdings are Apple, Microsoft, Google and Visa. Ok, so the second ETF portfolio that we have is the healthcare technology. If you believe that the future is promising for the healthcare industry, then this portfolio is best for you. We will replicate it by 3 ETFs. The risk profile of this ETF portfolio is moderate to high. So as I mentioned, we will use 3 ETFs. One of them will take 50% of the for portfolio. The other two will be 25 each. First ETF is Genomic Revolution ETF. This ETF is focused on investing in companies that are trying to enhance the quality of humans and bringing the technology to the healthcare sector. The 5 years performance of this ETF was 400%. The famous holdings are Teladoc, Pacific Biosciences. The second ETF we will use is Vanguard Healthcare ETF. This ETF gives exposure to US companies in the healthcare sector and the companies who are developing the vaccines. The 5 years performance of this ETF is 110%. The famous holdings are Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson. The third ETF we have is iShares Biotechnology ETF. This ETF offers exposure to the biotech subsector of the healthcare industry. The 5 years performance of this ETF is 84%. The famous holdings are Moderna and Illumina. Ok, so the third portfolio I have is US stocks and bonds ETF portfolio. This portfolio is best for the people who want a peace of mind and a portfolio that they can invest for a very long term, 5, 10, 15, even 25 years. It's very simple, it has two components only. And the risk profile of this portfolio will depend on the allocation. So the higher you allocate on stocks, the riskier this portfolio will be. While the higher you allocate on bonds, the safer this portfolio will be. So it will be two ETFs. The first one is Vanguard Total Stock Market. This ETF gives exposure to the total US stock market. When you invest in this ETF, it's like you are investing in the whole US stock market. The 5 years return of this ETF was 
125%. The famous holdings are Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, JP Morgan, and Visa. The second ETF is Vanguard Total Bond Market. This, this ETF gives exposure to the entire US bond market, which includes the government and the corporate bonds, the short and long term ones. The five year returns is 16% only. It's very normal for bonds to have low returns because they are very safe. The holdings are mixed of short and long term US treasury and corporation bonds. Okay, so the fourth portfolio I have today is high dividend income ETF portfolio. If you are a person who is looking for dividends and who is always willing to invest in an income generating asset, then this portfolio is best for you. It will be replicated by four ETFs. The risk is moderate. So four ETFs split it equally 25% each. The first ETF is iShare Preferred and Income Securities ETF. This ETF offers investor exposure to preferred stock. Preferred stockholders have a preferred position compared to other common shareholders. So when, you, when a company liquidates its assets, the preferred shareholders will be the first people to get their dividends. The five-year performance of this ETF was 27% and the famous holdings are Bank of America and Citigroup. The second ETF we have is Vanguard Real Estate. This ETF provides investor an exposure to the US real estate market and rates. It invests in high dividend paying real estate companies. The five year performance is 46%. Holdings are American Tower, Vanguard Real Estate Index Funds. Third ETF we have is iShare 1 to 3 years treasury bonds. As the name suggests, this ETF provides exposure to the US short term treasury bonds. The five-year performance is 8% and they hold short-term treasury bonds. The fourth ETF in this portfolio will be iShares High Yield Corporate Bonds. This ETF provides exposure to high coupon rate corporate bonds. The five-year performance of this ETF is 30% and the holdings are high yield corporate bonds. So the last ETF portfolio I have for this video is very interesting one. It's electric and battery cars. If you believe that the future will be very promising for the electric cars and self-driving cars, then you should definitely consider building a similar portfolio of what I will show you in the next slide. We will replicate this portfolio by two ETFs. The risk will be high because the returns are also expected to be high. So the ETFs are distributed equally 50% each. The first ETF we have is Global X Lithium and Battery Tech ETF. This ETF offers exposure to companies engaged in various aspects of, of lithium and electric battery industry. Lithium is used in a number of next generation technologies. The five year performance of this ETF was 274%. The famous holdings are Tesla and Samsung. The next ETF is Global X Autonomous and Electric Vehicles ETF. This ETF provides exposure to companies involved in the development of the electric and self-driving vehicles for software and hardware, as well as the companies that produce electric vehicles components such as lithium batteries. The three years performance of this ETF is 100%, it's relatively new ETF, and the famous holdings are Toyota, Tesla, and Google. All right, now that you have an idea of how to build your own ETF portfolio, then the next question would be how to invest in ETF. If you are in the UAE, there are multiple brokers that enable you to invest in the ETFs. I will list some of the best brokers. eToro, Saxo Bank, Interactive Brokers, Swissquote. Personally, I would highly recommend eToro. It's very simple and user friendly, especially if you are starting right now in the investment and ETF investing, eToro would be the best platform. I will leave a link in the description box below. If you want to register with eToro, you can use that link. Thank you very much for watching, I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to receive more videos about making, saving and investing money in the UAE.